The Unitrans Recovery 943 is a purpose-built backup appliance for the SMB and mid market. The Unitrans is interesting in that what they're really doing is adding value with the recovery OS on top of commodity hardware. As we can see, this particular system is a 4U unit with 36 drives, 24 available on the front and 12 in the back. As the main backup pool, they're using Seagate Barracuda 3 terabyte drives, so consumer gear, but given their OS and the RAID 60 environment, that's okay for this application. These drives account for up to 100 terabytes of backup capacity. Inside, they're using a pair of Intel SSD 520s as a mirrored boot drives, and Velociraptors that are also mirrored to capture metadata. As we swing around the back of the 4U box, you can see the other 12 hard drive bays here. Again, each have the three terabyte Barracuda inside. The dual power supplies for redundancy. And as we take a look at networking, you can see the standard four one gig ports here. Unitrends also offers another four ethernet port expansion option. And then we have the 10 gig here, which is an expansion option as well. We've got this trunk directly into our Netgear switch to provide speedy access to all the network devices to the backup. Unitrends also includes four eSATA ports by default, although they can support eight more, and four USB ports. Both of those are generally used for rotational backup and other connected devices. Unitrends also supports the addition of a SAS expander card for those who want to connect to tape for long-term archival. The real bread and butter of the Unitrends Recovery 943 is the operating system. It's flash-based, we're accessing it via Chrome over the network. But in a single pane it shows you everything that's going on, including access to backups, restores, archiving, if we drill into some of these tabs just real quick to give you a flavor for what this does, Unitrends has a robust reporting interface that gives you access to everything very quickly from capacity to scheduling to alerts. If we dive in here, we can see really quickly that everything is great, systems operating normally. We do have one violator. We've got a PC that's uh, extended the backups beyond the retention policy. So very quickly, the backup admin can take a look at the flag, decide what to do about it, and move on. If we dive into the settings here, we can tell you what it looks like to create and work with clients on the system. So we've got two servers set up right now. If we dive in here, it's very simple. All you do is specify the operating system, the computer name, access information, and then whatever other features you want to enable, like encryption, and then once you hit the setup button, it goes ahead and pushes an agent to the system, logs on, and starts the process of backing up. Now if we go into the backup system here, we can see the scheduler and what's going on. If we dive into an individual system, we can either do a one-time backup or set the schedule. The schedules can be unique for system types, user types, there's a lot of flexibility here. And you can even do just a single one-time backup if that's what you want. As we go ahead and look at the schedule here, we've already created a profile for the VLAN domain controller, and it's already set up and ready to go. Now, if we had several other domain controllers that we wanted to apply the same schedule to, it would be as easy as dropping down and saving that.